know? Yeah, it's an emotional day, that's for sure. It cuts deep. You know, it hurts. I really thought that we were getting past that. These florists usually spend their days delivering flowers for happy occasions. I put bright yellow Gerber daisies. Today, Linda Stevens wearing red, white, and blue brought a bright bouquet to the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office. We want to show support. On one of their darkest days. I just can't get over the hatred in our country again. An act so evil. This is senseless. Only flowers could do the trick. We just really need to unite and we need to come together. For Peggy Conkle. It felt like it was here in my heart. She connects all too well to the Dallas victim killed two weeks after he was married. It hurts. It's painful and she'll probably never get over it, you know like me. Her late husband killed in a prison riot. Why? You know, they were just doing their job. There's got to be an underlying fear in all of them. I mean, the way things are today. Although states away and change even further. No matter what race, what color, what heritage, we're all, we all matter. It's just out of control. I worry about this country. For now, flowers and love will have to be a start. We, we all do, I think. We're worried. And if you're not worried, then something's wrong hit her head. Looks like they were looking at a package behind the building back there. Sirens drew him in. I was kind of curious. Lights kept their attention. Never seen anything like this. Scary. But the sight of the bomb squad made neighbors on 2nd Street begin to worry. They all jumped out of that truck and everybody put on vests and then they walked that way. Hopefully they got it under control. Firemen spotted what they call a suspicious package in the middle of this parking lot. They suited up and their protective gear and walked behind the building back there to a pink cylinder back there. It wouldn't be the first threat against the Southwest Florida Safety Council. The Sheriff's Department, um, Fire Department. So they checked it out. The Hazardous Waste Department. And it didn't take long. Hour and a half tops. I hope that, uh, to find out nothing's wrong. That this was just a precaution. Hazardous Device Squad, yeah, that's. Because this pink package. That's pretty scary. Simply turned out to be a misplaced Freon tank. A lot of kids around here. It's not cool. A mess. Words just don't do justice. Total mess. For the strength of this storm. Don't mess with Mother Nature. Instead, the sound, the work, the cleanup speaks for itself. I see decking gone, all the roofing gone. People living on Nuremberg heard that freight train-like whistle for only a few minutes. The wind just picked up and shoo, it was all right there. Crews guess at least 55 homes were hit as bad as this one. Can you sneak through? <laughs> the outside beaten up, the inside soaked with rain. It's leaked from the ceiling fan. And then, of course, the crash of this pool cage here. Robin Foss and her husband. And this, this moved at least. No, they're lucky. Three or four feet, just sideways. It just moved my whole truck. Parts of our lanai are hanging from trees. Because just across the street, the roof blew out of their house. This family lost their home. Their cars got moved off the driveway right in front of their house. Now to find that strength. You know, pick, pick up the pieces. Stronger than this storm. I'll get it cleaned up and get it fixed and it'll be fine. <laughs> Yay, honk if you support. Hello. It's not the cost. We can put one right here. The crime. We're replacing the signs that, that were stolen. Or even the time wasted. It took about two and a half hours. It has this Donald Trump fan upset. It's too bad that people have to steal. It's the idea. I was disappointed more than angry. That because someone disagreed with her. I would venture to guess that it was a non-Trump supporter. Whoever did it decided to steal. Okay, we're going to move on. Yay, yay, yay. So we walked along Del Prado to investigate. I really, really do not like him. And we found plenty. I hate him. Of strong opinions. I just cannot handle him. I think it's disgusting. Do they like him? I would not want him to be the president. No. Period. But because they won't vote for Donald. Well, I think it's wrong. Did they do it? No, I have no need for Trump signs. Are you sure it wasn't you? I am 100% sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think you have to respect their opinions. In my mind, it's hard to understand. Yay, good job, good job. 
Norma filed a report with Cape Police. This is a lot more work than what people think. But if the perp comes forward, yay, Donald. Norma says she'd rather talk then press charges. All good people can learn to compromise and respectfully disagree. In Cape Coral, Andrea Hubble, NBC.